Is that it? <sighs> Hi and welcome to this Oracle. In this very brief episode, I'm just going to update on my Dacordio project. I'm just released, oh, I've just released version 4.2.0 on my website and I'm going to go through the briefly the changes that are in that. So, first of all, thanks to a couple of my subscribers. Uh, one in particular did a lot of work on fixing some bugs and some excellent suggestions of tweaks I could make. So, wants to remain anonymous, so that's fine. But thank you very much to that person. So, the changes are, firstly, bugs. There was a problem when, if you were writing to the ESP32's EEPROM while Simon was playing, that would cause a, a reboot of the system. That's been fixed by the subscriber as mentioned. If you're playing the same WAV file in a sequence object, so a sequence is where you can play more than one sound in a row, and if you have the same sound more than once, there would be an annoying sort of delay for the second sound was played. And then if that sound was saying that sequence three times, then it became even more, um, even more of a delay. And the examples have tidied up. There've been a couple of issues creep into the examples because I've changed to the library. I've not noticed that the examples needed changing. All the examples should now work. I've been through, tweaked and changed and tested them all. Uh, also, it's been added by another subscriber was a digital volume control. So now, as well as obviously having the volume control on, on firmware, such as this potentiometer here to change the volume, you can alter it digitally as well. So there's a simple little extra property of the DAC audio where you can actually set the mass the volume. If you go onto the website and um, there'll be a link down below directly to the downloads page, it goes through how to use very briefly the master volume. There's also the ability now to clear the items in a sequence object. So a sequence object is where you can add lots of different play items, it might be WAV files, two or three WAV files that you want them to play in a row, one after the other, you just add them to the sequence object and then tell the sequence object, sequence object to play and it'll play them one after the other. If you want to do that again, you just have to clear all the items, you can still do that, but there is now a, a small property that you can set so that actually when it's finished playing all your sequence items it will automatically empty that playlist for you and then you could just add more if you wanted to so that is it if you go to the downloads page as i mentioned link down below it'll take you through a bit that more of that is in, i think if you're using the dac audio project i would download this new version just because of the bug fixes one of the bug fixes i forgot to mention actually was an important one is where occasionally you would get garbled sound come out particularly on power out it was power up it was rare but it, would, it was annoying when it happened. And again, uh, one of my subscribers fixed that problem for me. So again, thank you very much. And just to show you, for those that are not familiar with the DAC Audio project, if I just power it up, it plays all sorts of sound. Uh, WAV sounds, I'm just gonna plug that for a minute while I talk. It plays all sorts of WAV sounds, musical instruments. It can mix um, many um, sounds together at once so you can add it into games, it's quite powerful for that. So let's just put it together. No one would have believed put my mic closer. The 19th century, that human affairs were being watched from the timeless worlds of space. No one could have dreamed... And this example is actually showing the ability to change the speed on this line of a sound sample. So in a minute it'll go faster. And there it is. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I'll just take that off that. That's it for this episode. Hope you liked that. If you did, leave a like. If you've not seen my channel before, you'd like to subscribe. That'd be really appreciated. You subscribe down below. Any associate links for any of the equipment you've seen on this demo here will also be down below. Again, thanks very much for watching. Very much appreciated. Bye for now.